Hi, and welcome to Tour From My Town, Episode 4, Goosed, Part 2. I'm Heather Gregory, and this is my town, Rockwood, Ontario. I am in Waterside Park on Main Street in Rockwood, a welcoming spot for many fishermen and picnickers. It is also home to many families of geese and their goslings. Last chapter, a goose pushed Titan Bijan into the Aramosa River. Let's find out what happens next in Chapter 4, Goosed, Part 2. The swiftness of the attack and the sting of the cold water took Titan's breath away. He was disoriented and shock was starting to set in. Without sight, it was like he was floating in a black abyss. His instinct kicked in and he began to frantically dog paddle towards what he thought was a shore. He had no memory to guide him, no scent to follow, no white tip of a tail to guide him. Panic set in and he swam in circles, becoming more and more tired as he frantically tried to find the shore. Somewhere in the distance, he heard the words of his seeing eye person, Titan, listen, and the banging of rocks against rocks. He swam toward the taps. The tapping sound became louder and louder, and soon he was able to rest his paws on the slimy moss-laden rocks that was the walled bank of the river. He followed the light that shone through a crack in the rock wall, and he pulled himself up to safety. He plopped down in the mud, exhausted. No one knew why the goose acted as it did. Perhaps, perhaps Titan sniffed a little too close to a nest. Perhaps the goose felt threatened, or perhaps the goose sensed Titan's weakness and just decided to go for it. The only thing Titan knew for sure was that instead of pizza and ice cream, Titan was getting a bath. That's all folks. Stay tuned for our next episode when Ty visits the old grist mill. Goodbye and don't forget to subscribe.